Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Before we start like that, if you like, subscribe, just like, but leave a comment down below. I just like this type of channel. Much appreciated. Don't forget to share this channel. Alright, so this is the positions if you're curious how to put them. They gotta be touching them, these dead people here. Like they're destroying them or something. But that one's like that. That one's like that. Straight impaling him. And then this one is karate kicked him, I guess. Looks like that. And then the other one would be this way. Where he she's touching him and him. And then the door will open. So yeah, that didn't take too long. This was so. supposed to be a real show. And now no one will ever yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is going to kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. Okay. Nobody's gonna own Collective. Dr. Sechenov is gonna launch it and everybody's gonna be equal. Brilliant scientists like him are above power struggles and other petty bullshit like that. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's save it. Saving data. Why are there two of them here? No. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over. There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... She dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe... Okay. I want to explore. So what we can do is... Our last save point. Sorry for doing that, but I mean, we're just right there, so would it make a difference? All right. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is going to kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. You mean his discretion? Indeed. No one. Sure, sure I'm. I, what about the roof? They won't care. I. Just a case up here. We jump. <laughs> die if I do that. Man. Okay. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Um,
Give me something stronger than these. I haven't been here yet, huh? Okay. Just take the upgrade. Oh.
Might as well, right? And then... Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna This needs to be upgraded. This got shit for this one seven
what? There you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do this. Go save it. Fading data. All right, let's go take out a boss. <clears throat> you won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... better. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate. And that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnoff was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. No! Shit! No. No! God fucking damn it. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest Wrong. will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. And self pity regret will be your and self pity will be your lot. Okay. Now we're ahead. Today we have the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The 
young girl is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing to do with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! Oh, shit. You want to be doing that guy? Fuck. Comrade Major, you... Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my lord? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Okay. That was... Easy as shit. And then, believe it or not, he says to me, in the grand finale, we're going to put this big old beauty on stage. I mean, what the fuck? It's an old model, and it's hard to program, so I'm thinking hey, we you. should... Yes, I you. Know, I'll decide what we should and should not do. You, comrade, are a programmer, so either do your job with a smile on your face or get the hell out of my theater. Comrade Lastrochkin, I completely understand. I was merely offering a suggestion. I don't suppose you'd like something a little... Heavier? Oh, now you're speaking my language. What have you got for me? Oh, it'll be truly spectacular. You'll love it. Okay. All right, what? Well, I'll have to rebel. Let's go over here real quick. Anything here to get? No. Alright. Let's get out of here. Don't do that shit. What are you doing, guy? What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat. Robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. You know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. <laughs> Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. Uh. We're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex, located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot, given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Yeah, we really did that, most of it. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Saving data.
bear me with me while I turn off the freaking sound. Alright. So, there's this here. Wait, what? No! Can we open this? Ah. Uh, Alright. Tell you what. <laughs> we gotta do it again. Close the door on me. Come on, what? Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, this is a difficult one. Um <clears throat> Oh my goodness, what? One more. <coughs> Jeez. Oh, man, come on. Can I get it? Come on.
It does the does, and then it goes back around. Oh my goodness, yo, what? Come on, you gotta get this. Oh, what? Oh, come on, man. <clears throat> and then it, I can't really see it too much. His lights. Gotta get it. Did I get it? What happened? Wait, did it freeze? Got it. Jeez. What's in here, man? This is the, oh, this is the other side of that one. Why was this so hard to open? What is in here? Why? That was so difficult just to go back around? Man, that's stupid. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, hurry up. I wonder if we can... Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with Beta 1 and Beta 2 engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. 
How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov? Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by? I'm gonna go do this. For a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. <clears throat> by the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian Drofa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said. Different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Trov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence collective from the inside since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. So you know I can get that <clears throat> area now, but it don't seem to let me target it.
you know, I never seen if I can just go straight in it, but I doubt that. We'll go see. Oh. Hmm. That's how you get in here. Alright, cool. No. This has to be where you get the key. Because it's locked in here. It's got to be somewhere in here.
up. Dead man. Trying to figure out. <clears throat> okay, we can unlock that. Key? Ah, oh, lovely. Now we can get into there. All right, cool, good business. It had to be something like that. Now we're just gonna. <coughs> Thank you. 
Holy crap. Let me out of here. Now I'm putting everybody to sleep. Full of garbage. <coughs> What's in here? Why'd you slice the side, bro? Get up. Now this rifle worth something. It's really gonna be when I bring out the back. Okay, we're inside. Let's search the testing ground and get the hell out of here. We need to deliver Petrov's head. Petrov, ASAP. Keep your eyes peeled, Comrade Major. There's more to Sahlin than meets the eye. We can deal with that. The other places weren't exactly a walk in the park, you know. 
Alright, where's the save point? There you are. Alright, so this is where we're going to end it. You know, the next episode, we will knock out this test area and collect all the goodies. Until then, thanks for stopping by. Stay safe.